What are you doing today? So, check this out. I'm out hiking today, and I'm stopping to get some lunch with my hastily set up campsite here, the Basha tent, which is actually inside out. I need to have it on the opposite side, but it's all right. I don't need something super well made today, just something quick and hasty. Got my mat out, some lunch. But what I want to talk about today was something last week. So last week I mentioned like, hey, when you're hiking, here in Korea, especially by the riverside and all this stuff. You got all these grass and stuff and you know, you need something good to cut your way through. And that's what I'm gonna talk about today. We're gonna do a little uh, review, if you will, on the Gerber Gator Jr. And before I get to that though, a couple things first, I'm gonna do a plug for South Korea. And I wanna show you this, see like right here? This is why this is also gonna be perfect for today. Right around me, might be hard. It's lots of vines, brambles, and stuff. So to make my campsite today, I've actually had to cut a lot of this down. You might see a broken twig there. Uh, let's see. Got some limbs torn to cut down. I had to use that sog knife to make me a stakes. Put over there. So it's kind of an appropriate opportunity to do this. And so let's do the plug for South Korea. So I was going to just eat an MRE and have fun. But I was like, hey, wait a minute. Maybe people who are curious about what's going on. So I decided to go by to my local supermarket and buy some of this Korean stuff. And you know, show it to you. So we got, this is th Sambun, three minutes, meatball. So we got the Otuki meatballs, both in English and Korean. Comes in these little packets. Let's see, I'm, there we go. What is this, 150 grams, I believe? What's that say? Yeah, yeah, 150 grams, 260 calories. Takes three minutes to make these. You can eat these right out of the package. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat it up and put it in here. I need to get a little bit more water in here, but I'll heat that up in there just to give it some heat and, you know, taste a little bit better. Um, this was 1,800 won. That's like a, maybe a buck 60 right now at the exchange rate. Dollar 70, think something like that. Not terribly expensive. Not the most filling meal. I'll tell you that. It's like a snack, unfortunately. You eat this and you're just going to be hungry for more. But, hey, I wanted to share this, so it's all right. Then we got something really interesting we don't have in America is this. Shike, Korean traditional drink. Enjoy it. So this is the, um, Shike is like a rice drink. It's got water and rice in it. A little, I guess, sugar. Very good. What's the calorie count of this? I never paid attention to that. Probably should, right? Let's see what we got. If I can get this thing. Ah, oh, 50 calories a can. All right, there it is. 50 K cow. So it's 50 K cows. Not the lightest, but... One of the interesting things about this, when you go to Korean buffets, they will just have a big vat. I mean, this big chiller of uh, shikse and what they're, or shike, sorry. And what they'll do is, man, you have a ladle that you literally just go inside, dip it out, put it in your bowl, and they actually drink it out. Some of the buffets will use bowls, and you just get as much as you want. Pretty nice. I'm going to do a plug for the Korean bakeries. Now, right here, I've got this sausage it's wrapped up. Sorry about that. Baked in cheese. The sausage, by the way, is really a hot dog. You know, in America, and I'm just going to use America. That's where I'm from. Sausages for us tend to have spices. Hot dogs tend not to have any spices in it. And this is a hot dog for sure. The bread they use for this is a combination of cheese. And I don't think this is the donut one. But yeah, sometimes they'll put like a donut cake on here. But this one is more of a regular bread. And this was 3001 which is like, what, $2.80? Honestly, and that's tax and everything, I got a hand, that's not bad. And cream bakeries are good. I got to give a, that's one thing I'll say about cream bakeries. I'm not saying American are bad, because American bakeries are cheaper and we got a lot of good stuff too. But Korea's, surprisingly over the years, how good their bakeries are. But there it is, you can see some of the sauces and stuff. And I'm just going to cut a little bit of this off to eat with the meatballs. And uh, give the rest of my family. And finally, almond choco balls. 900 and 91 just under a chunin pretty good deal you know almonds and nuts in general are very expensive in korea so the fact that you can get chocolate nuts for like less than a dollar is a very good bargain here and these are a very good brand i like these a lot but let's put this away and talk about the star of the day this is our star the gator jr now i've had this machete since 2014 it is by gerber which a lot of people know it is this machete is proudly made in china 
and it has been on lots of adventures with me. It has served in tra military training and I have used it for my own personal adventures. In fact, you can see all the nicks and stuff on the cases here. All this stuff. And yeah, I got this tape here because like around here, this thing was falling off. So I taped it down with some uh, 100 mile per hour tape. The machete itself is about 18 inches long. Does this say, do I got the made in China here? Nope. Now you see all this rust on here? Check this out, look at all that rust. You would think this thing is garbage, but actually not. Like I said, I used it out here today even to chop up this stuff. In fact, I did a little cutting. Let me do a little cutting right here. Look at that. This is a dead tree, by the way. I'm not using live trees to butcher and stuff. I like to use the, uh, I like to conserve resources, but this one's dead, so look at that. Cuts great, and if you look here, you can see the bark of the tree. I was like saw, I was cutting down some limbs, like right there with this, so I could clear, uh, have some clearing. Worked great. Another band, so this thing will cost me about $18. A little more, a little less. You can find these on Amazon between the 18 to $25. I didn't buy from Amazon. I bought it from a physical store, but nonetheless, if you find it uh, on Amazon, expect to pay that price. One of the cool things about this too, and this is actually one of the reasons I like using this thing so much, is check this out. Let's just lay this down, practice some safety and lay it down. We're gonna go to this tri-zip. Now in South Korea, we have very restrictive laws about knives and blades and stuff, okay? You just, it's not like America where I can just put it on my hip, let's say, and walk around town. Unless you're in a farming area, then those rules, are, like I used to live in, then those rules kind of get pushed to the side. But like in the greater Pyeongtaek area, no. Or big city areas, of course, you have to eat these concealed. So when you're transporting this to your camping site, look at this. I got this tri-zip. It's about a 33-liter backpack, maybe 34. I can reach in here and pull out another one. This blade is compact enough to where you can slide it in something like this. Oh, there we go. Slide it a little like that. In fact, you could put a couple in there along with some other little blades and stuff or whatever little gear you want to shove in a pocket like this. This is my hydration pocket, by the way. Nice, compact little uh, blade. And it's pretty durable, works well. However, let me tell you now, there's some criticisms of this. Not from me, but other users. Oh, wrong place. So, when I was doing my research on this blade years ago, one of the things I was told, I was reading about how this is not good for heavy trees. And branches so like some people were like using this to uh, cut some trim the trees and stuff from their backyard and they complained that it was warping the blade which I could see if you look real close I don't have stats in front of me because I'm like in the middle of the woods but you see the blade on this is not very thick right so if you're to try to use this repeatedly on something like this chop 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 trying to cut yeah expect your blade to get dulled real quick expect it to get warped really quick but on the flip side if you're trying to trailblaze like I use this for, some trailblazing, clearing off stuff like that, do a little sawing, this thing has held up really well and it has been very great since I go to a lot of, a lot of the places I go exploring are marshy, grassy, covered with thick vegetation and I need something to help me go through that. So I just want to say, you know, like a little discussion about this, works pretty good. And I would recommend you check it out. Now, if you're in Korea, this is going to cost you a lot more money because Korea is a very expensive country, especially for imported brands. You might pay double the price of what I just told you. You can find something sizable, roughly 18 inches long, at your local discount marts here in Korea, uh, farming stores and stuff, because Pyeongtaek is a farming area. So there's some stores that will sell something similar to this, not the same thing. I would recommend on your shopping though, don't, if you live in the Camp Humphreys area or around military towns, don't go to the local shops. Don't buy it from a street vendor. They're gonna charge you roughly, like I've seen it for like $120. Absolutely ridiculous. It's retarded. It's a rip off, quite frankly. What you might wanna try to do is go to G Market and I'll put a link down for G Market below and in English, mind you, G Market in English. So as you can look, they should have these on there and you can get an idea of how much you expect to pay in Korea or at least something similar, right? For those who are curious about how things cost over here and where to, you can buy merchandise from. All right, really, that's all I wanted to say about this. I, on the other hand, am gonna cook this food, have a little lunch, 
Uh, I'm not going to show around my campsite too much because I'm in an isolated place, my little secret garden. I'm being honest, I don't want people to know where I'm at. Suffice to say, I'm, uh, I'm in a good spot. Anyway, that's all. If you have questions, comments, please let me know. Highly recommended for you to explore. Check this out. You know, it's affordable, budget-friendly, does the job just fine. You all have a great weekend. Bye. Yeah, so, let this cook, and I'll give you a little sample taste of it. See what it looks like. So let's just wait a few minutes on this. By the way, got the little cube down there, right? Nice, safe. Hey, while this finishes up, you know what? Let's open up some chocolate. So you got these chocolate balls. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you got 12 of, the, 12 of these a pack. That's it. Mm. Korea has access to a lot of good stuff. It really does. And it's kind of nice being in this part of the world because, yeah, not that America doesn't have good stuff, but when you're like in a, the Asian part of the world, you have a variety of different, different type of brands and stuff that I'm used to back in the States. And also, Koreans like... They don't mind paying for stuff. I mind paying for stuff, but they don't mind paying for stuff. So they're willing to also get the stuff from America, Germany, wherever. And so these choco balls, I have no idea if they're Korean. They might be Korean. That's why they're so affordable. If it was a foreign brand, you'd be paying a little bit more for it. Oh, yeah, Lotte. Okay, yeah, here's our email address. Lotte. This is Lotte brand. Yeah, a lot of people don't realize Lotte is actually Japanese. But as far as the Koreans are concerned, it's Korean because it was founded by a Korean guy who moved to Japan in the, like 80 years ago founded the company in 1948 so while they you gotta say were ethnic Korean because they've lived in Japan so long they're actually Japanese now but nonetheless there's that heritage connection so I say it's Japanese but if you talk to an everyday Korean like my wife it's Korean but anyway these things are really good mmm yeah look at that Chocolate's melting though, that's not good. Mm. And while that cube finishes up, let's get a little bit of sauce spread out. Hey, wait a minute, where did I put my knife? <laughs> oh, duh, right here. Okay. Even though I'd use this to make a steak with and stuff, I cleaned the mud. Well, I still got a little bit of mud right there. And I cleaned the mud off enough to, you know, cut this up. Granted, that's pretty nasty, right? Using a muddy knife to cut with, but we're in the field. So when you're in the field, you gotta make compromises. So check that out. You got your hot dog there. There's like your croissant style bread with glazed over cheese and herbs and whatever. Mmm. Mmm. Yep, good. Makes a decent cheap lunch, really. You know, so 3,001. One, so for under 1,501. I'm sorry, under 5,001. You got a yeah, decent snack slash... Um, oh, let's throw this in. Uh-oh, SpaghettiO. Well, this is done. <laughs> well... This is now done, so we're gonna eat this, but for roughly 6,001, you know, you get this, this, and this. Maybe a little bit more. Not a bad meal, right? Nice. So anyway, let's open this up. Mm. And there's the meatball. Not a super lot of sauce, but just take a spoon. Take this nice little yummy spoon. <laughs> yummy spoon. Yeah, that makes sense. There you go. Mmm. Yeah, good. It's a little cold. It didn't complete its cooking before I tipped it over. 
but it's good enough. It's fine. All right, so you all have a great weekend. I'm going to enjoy this, try to relax and evade all the hikers. Have a good one. See you later. Bye.